today's dive adventure, we will take you on a cultural tour inside the Isles preserved Filipino Spanish heritage town. And on a breathtaking underwater free dive with rich marine life, all within three hours from Manila. What's really unique with what we have here, you kind of have a, a multiple of experiences all wrapped up into one day or a weekend, for instance. Um, you obviously get to learn about free diving, unlock a new skill over the weekend, but you also get the benefits of exploring a heritage town such as Taal. Unforgettable yet low-cost destination near the metro ang hanap mo, idagdag mo na sa yung travel bucket list ang Taal, Batangas. Known as the Vegan of the South, this municipality boasts its ancestral structures that was preserved way back from the Spanish era. Just three hours from the metro, via bus from Cubao or Buendia bound to Taal Lemery, ay mapapasyalan na natin ang Taal Heritage Town at ang mga preserved historical structures nito. While we are in here, you could also treat yourself with the must-try food and crafts that most Taalenos are proud of. Gaya ng Batangas Lomi Kaping Barako At ang pinaka-popular nilang, Tapang Taal but wait, there's more! Marami ka pang pwedeng baunin sa road trip na ito dahil sikat din dito sa Taal ang mouth-watering empanada, panucha, longganisa, at suman. Pero kung gusto mong tikman lahat ng yan sa isang one-of-a-kind festival, abay warm welcome ang sasalubong sa iyo sa kanilang El Pasubat Festival. Ang El Pasubat Festival ay isang annual celebration ng Bayan ng Taal na ginaganap tuwing buwan ng Abril. Alam niyo ba kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng El Pasubat? El Pasubat stands for Empanada, Longganisa, Panutsa, Suman, Balisong, Barong Tagalog, and Tapa. In this grandiose event, inia-highlight ng mga talenyos ang mga delicacies at crafts kung saan kilala ang bayan ng Taal. Kung souvenirs naman ang hanap mo, ala eh, matatagpuan din sa Taal ang kanilang sought-after needle work craft, ang Burdang Taal. Along with another Taal Pride, the Balisong or Butterfly Knives. lang yan, Taal is also the home of the rising free diving spot in Batangas, ang butong na nag-iisang coastal barangay sa bayan ng Taal. Its name, butong, originated from a plant called buto, which is endemic or existing only to this place out of 42 barangays in Taal. Excited na ba kayo to experience what Butong Taal has to offer? 
Worry not! Sagot namin kayo! Dahil at only 15 minutes away from Taal Heritage Town, ay maaari mo nang subukan ang kakaibang free diving experience sa marine protected area dito sa Butong. With Dirk's Dive and Dine, our diving partner for the day. Owned and founded by a multi-sport coach and athlete, Mr. Robert Kevin Wolford. So what we have here is a, a view deck that's overlooking Balayan Bay. And we have a boat called the Sea Wolf. And it allows us access basically to all the amazing dive sites here in Taal. We share basically the same shoreline as Anilao, uh, Tingloy, that sort of thing. So it's pretty amazing stuff under the water. And what's really unique with what we have here, you kind of have a, a multiple of experiences all wrapped up into one day or a weekend, for instance. Um, you obviously get to learn about free diving, unlock a new skill over the weekend, but you also get the benefits of exploring a heritage town such as Taal. Um, so it's rich in history and as well as uh, different types of foods that we have here. So you have destination dining, you have the idea of checking out a romantic, historic town as well as being able to unlock what the sea has to offer. Dive and Dine Resort offers a thrilling experience for both day trippers and diving enthusiasts. Dahil on top of their trek and tour services for backpackers, Dive and Dine also offers two-day diving course para naman sa mga interested sa free diving. Our all-in package, well, at least our accommodation dive package for the weekend is uh, on promo right now for 2000 Pesos. That doesn't include meals, but it does include all the gear rentals. It's a boat dive as well. It includes your, your safeties and your coaches as well. And that's also two lessons. So over the weekend, so outside of what it costs you to get to here, whatever your travel fee may be from Manila, usually, um, you're looking at less than about 3K. Unlocking a new skill, mind you. You're gonna come away and have a new skill. Over the weekend, we offer basically the intro to free diving and also the next step to that would be safety, safety and rescue. And we find that very important actually because part of what our belief here is uh, as blade free divers is that to get people interested in the water and doing so will get them interested also in the environment. And so that's actually part of why we're pushing this. Um, we want people to, to have a greater stake at protecting the environment. We don't want to be here pointing fingers at people saying you must do this, you must do this. I think once you learn about free diving and you appreciate actually what it is that we have here in the Philippines, I think you'll, you'll have a different approach to, to being able to take care of, of what this awesome, awesome resource that we have out here. So, kung sulit experience and free diving adventure ang hanap mo, this will definitely suit your taste. Ready ka na bang magdive? Yeah, everybody, please come down if you get a chance, if you have a weekend to get away with yourself or your barcadas or loved ones. This would be definitely the activity for you to do. Learn to free dive. I think it's important that everyone learns to free dive because we have the most expansive uh, shoreline on the planet. In fact, I think Philippines has the most shoreline anywhere on the planet. And it only makes sense that as Filipinos, alam natin kung ano meron sa dagat. I think the statistic actually is that one in five knows how to swim. And so let's find ourselves um, growing that statistic to the great majority of us, being able to learn how to be a part of what's out here in the ocean. Come join us. Up next, gear up mga kabadi and learn the essentials of free diving as we explore the rich marine biodiversity of Butong Taal. Dito lang sa The Dive. More than 3 billion people around the world rely on the ocean for their livelihoods. The majority of them are in the developing countries, just like the Philippines. However, the ocean is now suffering drastic habitat degradation, negatively impacting the various marine life and the sustainability of the livelihoods of those who depend on it. And one big reason for this 
is plastic pollution. But we can do something together. Join the Ocean Care Initiative, catch our coastal and underwater cleanup event across the Philippines, and be an Ocean Care Ambassador in your place. With a cleaner ocean, we can help more than 3 billion people to sustain their livelihoods. With healthier marine biodiversity, we can enjoy a healthier society and a better way of living for humanity. Be involved. Be an Ocean Care Ambassador. The Philippines is a popular destination for tourists and locals who want to explore the depths of the sea. With its more than 7,000 islands, of which majority of them having beaches, it is without a doubt one of the best diving spots to test your diving skills. Isa sa mga diving destination that you could try ay matatagpuan sa butong marine protected area dito sa Taal, Batangas. Rainy days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know There are several possible ways to observe this rich and vast marine world. Ilan dito ay through scuba diving and free diving, which share the same ideal of exploring the depths of the sea. Although may mga pagkakapareho ang free diving sa scuba diving, may ilang mga bagay kung saan sila nagkakaiba. Free diving is a form of underwater diving while holding your breath without the use of breathing apparatus like scuba. Advantage of free diving is you can move freely. So you, you don't have a tank on your back, you don't have a BCD. So you can do what you want while free diving. And as its name suggests, free diving can give you almost total freedom when maneuvering or moving underwater. So pwede ka tumambling tumbling dyan, pwede kang sumayaw sayaw. So you can actually do it without without uh, hesitations. Bukod pa rito, minimal gears lang ang kinakailangan sa free diving. On free diving, you can enter um, small caves, small tunnels, um, as long as uh, kaya ng katawan mo. And of course, may body ka talaga. 
In scuba diving, it requires equipment that weigh as much as 22 kilograms. Pero wag magalala that this weight will soon feel weightless when you're underwater. Like any other physical activity, free diving will increase the strength of your body as well as increase your endurance and vitality. But whether you're a beginner or an expert in this field, there are some things you need to remember for your next adventure dive. Ito ang mga tips from our free diving coach, Mr. Kevin Kenneth Reyes, before exploring the beauty of Butong's underwater world as a free diver. Tip number one, never dive alone. First thing, uh, you need to have a dive body. So one golden rule of free diving is you never dive alone. So when you're, you're diving with the different uh, locations, you need to find locals to ask for um, the, the, the spots. Since uh, pag hindi natin kilala yung dagat, medyo mahirap kapain yung ilalim. So we don't know the current, takbo ng current, yung alon. So, kailangan mo talagang maghanap ng guides, local guides na matagal na kabisado yung dagat. Remember to always have a diving buddy with you. Also, if possible, have a rescue diver or a local diver with you whenever you're free diving. It's important to look out for one another to ensure both of your safety. And, of course, having a dive buddy will make your free diving experience even more fun. Tip number two, choosing the right free diving gears. Yeah, actually, you, you will need um, uh, basic uh, gears for free diving is a low, um, low volume mask, a J-type snorkel, and a long fins. So those are the three uh, basic gears that you need to have when you're free diving. Before free diving, you will be needing gears to help you free dive smoothly underwater. These gears are readily available at Pwedeng Rentahan, some resort or local diving centers. Also, most of the rental equipments are of good quality, so there's nothing to worry about. Fins, especially those that has longer blades, are excellent for beginner free divers. Free diving fins with longer blades can easily displace more water and create more flexibility and resistance in every kick. Along with fins, a free diver will also need a low volume mask. Low volume mask is advisable since it minimizes the air volume inside the diver's mask to 100 milliliters or less. Lastly, a J type snorkel is also a necessity. The main reason free divers use snorkels is so they can breathe steadily and comfortably underwater. Tip number three, don't touch the creatures underwater. Don't touch anything you see underwater. So uh, if you see a uh, pawikan, um, if you see sharks, then never touch them. There are numerous beautiful creatures that you will encounter under the sea. And though it may be tempting, refrain from touching the reefs and animals you see in the ocean. Touching corals or marine animals can harm them or stress them out. Also, some ocean life is venomous and may sting you if they feel threatened when touched. There you have it! You are now ready to take your free diving adventure! Exploring the splendid marine world is a great activity that almost everyone can enjoy. And just like any sport or activity, free diving requires practice, focus, and training. It also takes one large inhale to dive beneath the surface of the sea, where most senses are muted. You can hear, smell, nor feel nothing except the comforting surrounding pressure and the awe-inspiring rare beauty of the underwater world and its creatures. Up next, learn how the municipal government of Ta'al takes action towards marine protection and the crown of thorn extraction on Butong Marine Protected Reefs. Herein, the dive.
Every diving destination indeed brings its own adventures and charm along with the creatures you will find underwater dahil every dive is different. At ika nga nila, no dive is the same. And in order to preserve these majestic marine life, kinakailangan natin itong pangalagaan para mapanatili ang kagandahan nito. Kaya naman dito sa Taal, bukod sa pagpepreserba ng mga heritage structure, ay sinisikap ng pamahala nito kasama ang mga volunteer free diver na mapromote ang conservation ng marine biodiversity sa marine protected area ng Butong Taal. Ang Butong, sa ngayon, meron po tayong uh, tiniklarang marine protected area na kung saan po ito ay isang ordinansa na nangangalaga sa ating karagatan sa yamang dagat ng Butong. Ang isinusulong natin ngayon, yun nga yung dive site natin sa Butong. Ano? Dahil napakalaki ng area ng mga uh, corals dyan. So yun ay Marine Protected Area MPA. That's more than 40 kilometers. So, dinidevelop natin. At upang patuloy na mapangalagaan ang dagat ng Butong, patuloy ang pagsasagawa ng cleanup drive sessions sa komunidad na ito. us to mobilize something like that, we do need the LGU's help in that. Uh, first and foremost, uh, when we do a, a cleanup drive, siguro dalawang dump truck ng basura, ng sako, na pupuno namin. So we need a dump truck. The LGU has been faithful naman in allowing us to, to use their dump truck to do just that. But if the LGU doesn't help, um, it's going to be definitely an uphill battle because simply, yung mga common people, don't have the ability to basically mobilize and get rid of so much debris. Sinisikap din ng local government unit ng Taal na makapagpatupad ng maayos na pamamahala at sumuporta sa mga kinakailangan ng mga free divers sa pagsasagawa ng cleanup drive. Ating lalagyan ng magandang pamamahala, magandang management at uh, para mainganyot dumayo pa rin. Ano? Well, in fact, tayo nga eh, sa tulong ng mga divers natin dito ay yung ating crown of thorns na tinatawag ay ating uh, tinira na. Maaring kulang pa rin, pero uh, tuloy-tuloy, kaya hindi lang ningas kogon, tuloy-tuloy ang ating paggagawa para ma-develop natin ito. Maliban sa patuloy na paglilinis dito, isa rin sa inaaksyonan ay ang pagpuksa sa lumalaganap na crown of thorns sa parte ng dagat na ito. Yung Crown of Thorns po kasi, yan, pumupunta sila sa isang coral reef na unhealthy, overfished. Hindi naman siya totally masama kapag isang peraso, dalawang peraso, okay lang yon. Pero kapag more than 20 na yung nasa isang uh, dive site, yun, doon na tayo kailangan talagang kumilos para mabawasan sila. Kasi unti-unti nilang kakainin yung, ano, yung reef. The yeah, crown of thorns basically it's uh, the reason why it gets its name it looks like the the crown of thorns was placed on on Jesus's mm -hmm. head basically it's a invasive starfish or we say sea star um, mm -hmm. and basically if left unchecked they're able to consume up to one square meter a day of coral so basically they eat the polyps the outer layer of the corals naman so may iwan don yung mga skeleton siya mm -hmm. and they they're quick to to populate as well so mabilis din sila magproduce um, if there's traces of crown thorns in the area dapat talaga maagapan agad because like i said one square meter a day might not seem like a lot but if you leave it alone it's going to keep eating and they're going to multiply and they're going to go through your reef system rather quickly Isa sa epektibong paraan nila ng pagtanggal ng mga crown of thorns sa mga coral reef ay ang maingat na pagpulot sa mga ito gamit ang mga tong at pag-inject sa mga ito ng water vinegar solution. The other method 
This is with the injection. The traditional method is with manual extraction. And as you can see here, we have metal tongs here. Major Mahabasha, because the crown of thorns are actually poisonous as well. So, medyo delikado kang natusok ka noon. According to our coaches, kinakailangang maging maingat sa pag-alis ng mga crown of thorns na ito upang hindi ito mag-release pa ng maraming itlog. So usually kapag uh, you extract it, you pick it up, you put it in a container, you try to bring it to the surface as quickly as possible. Gather as many as possible, bring it to the surface as quickly as possible. And usually you find a place where you can bury it uh, when you get it to shore. And even kahit yung tubig na kasama sa kanya, is you don't want to get it re-released into the water because there's a possibility that maybe the eggs were released in that. And so instead of removing one crown of thorn, you're releasing potentially thousands of eggs. So that's something that we definitely want to avoid. Ang existence ng Crown of Thorns starfish sa isang coral reef ay kinokonsiderang beneficial for biological diversity as they keep down the growth of fast-growing coral species and leave space for other slow-growing corals. Ngunit dahil sa pagkawala ng biopredators nito at ang patuloy na paglala ng climate change, patuloy rin ang pagdami ng Crown of Thorns. Indikasyon na nasisira ang balansa ng marine environment, dahilan kung bakit naituturing itong peste sa ating mga corals. Our oceans is home to millions of species, and seeing them in their natural habitat is always an extraordinary experience. And every dive is a lesson that will teach us how fragile ecosystems are and the importance of preserving them, as well as understanding how we are affecting and being affected by changes in our own environment. Hanggang sa susunod na dive adventure with your diving buddy, The Dive.